Well, the Warriors from down 12 have started to shoot the ball, started to run, started to defend, and taking a four-point lead. And the man who lights the fuse emotionally is very often Steven Jackson. He hit the three, got the steal, and then finished off the Warrior fast break. Oh, yeah! And Jack emotionally got everybody into it. And it's been fun. A livelier Warrior bunch in the third quarter. Started with Baron Davis, then Steven Jackson picked it up. And Steven Jackson did not even score in the second quarter. He was only at halftime with three points. He has come alive with another nine here. And Warriors all of a sudden have that spirit that we recognize. Al Harrington's talking to Patrick Ewing. They, they were having a conversation back and forth. And now Al will step to the foul line. Keith Smart and Baron Davis are talking about moving laterally defensively. Patrick Ewing, he schooled Yao Ming. And then his first year here now, working with Dwight Howard. One of the great shooting big men in the league. Mm -hmm. At his height, I mean, he could go out to 20 and 22 feet and just knock down jumpers. And create his jumper. How about this? C.J. Watson comes in for the first time tonight. Monte Ellis comes out. Patrick Ewing, Chris Mullen, Don Nelson, Hakeem Olajuwon, all finalists for the Hall of Fame. Very good. And we'll find out if, who made it come Final Four weekend. You left off Dick Vitale. <laughs> Patrick Ewing, Hakeem <laughs> Olajuwon, Chris Mullen, and Don Nelson, all finalists for the Hall of Fame. Free throws made. So Harrington's got a double-digit game going now. A pass off the backboard. Howard still got it and draws the foul. Dwight Howard is just some kind of ferocious athlete. Uh, you throw it. You, you brought up a great qualifier, Jim. The size plus the mobility. Yes. Nobody like him in the league. Right. I'm not sure you had to foul him on that shot. Now, Jackson made the decision to do that on purpose. But he was almost too far under the basket, had to get it up wildly with that left hand. What, what I like about Howard for a young player is he misses the free throw. Stan Van Gundy about two weeks ago says, well, if he gets blocks and rebounds, we win. If he's just worried about scoring, we're not as good a team. Of course. Publicly said that in a postgame press conference. You know what Howard's reaction was? You know, he's right. Yep. I, I've lost my defensive focus a little bit. I'm going to redouble my efforts. And they came out and started playing much better well, basketball. They hold him accountable. Stan Van Gundy from Martinez. Now in the area. Missing both free throws. So the Warriors keep the pressure on Orlando here. Long way to go in this one. They were down eight at halftime. The next one, third quarter, Barron. A little hesitation. And then the go. That's why you don't need to be in a hurry. Aaron is probably the best example in the league in that department. I mean, he just kind of stopped, froze everybody, said, oh, okay. The gate opened up, I'll go. Aaron with a 10-point third quarter, 23 in the game. Keon Doolin, kind of a wild shot. Barron knocked it away from Howard. Hit the ball in the middle, but Steve goes against the grain. Shoots a three <laughs> That's and why, drops it in. That's why he goes against the grain. It, it just, you know, people can't get a, a, a beat on him because he's very unorthodox. He plays to his own tempo and his own game. But he does it effectively. Oh, I man, kind of lie. I mean, every school book says, hit the ball in the middle of that situation. And Turkoglu answers with a three of his own. Al didn't like that. He thought he was on him. Turkoglu's been averaging 20. He's got 10 right now. But That, that was a big answer there. He was. Warriors can push it to double digits for the first time, albeit briefly. And Harrington wants to go at Haydu again. Now Wheeling fading and hitting. Now there is a terrific move and finish. And he saw Howard, knew he was there. He said, what do I need to do? And he just took a little steam off it. Had a little more control there. Howard, seeing if the double comes, he wheels away from it. Harrington bothered the shot, and now Zabuki with the rebound. He's not as effective with that left hand as Howard. Final minute of the third. Warriors have come to life here on the road. Harrington looked at the line, shot it short, and unable to follow his own shot. Jackson set him up beautifully on a pick and roll. There's a pick and pop. This is Al Harrington coming into the middle with that spin and goes away from Howard. 
And Howard just kind of nailed to the floor. Good control. Harrington's had seven in the third after scuffling in the first half. Carlos Arroyo in his first playing time. Dueling move ahead of him in the rotation. Oh, Turkaloo, that three got him off a little bit. Turkaloo having the best year of his career. It's amazing, isn't it? I just, he had all star numbers, actually. Jackson is fouled as Dueling came over to prevent the dunk. Steven Jack to shoot a couple free throws. His first, first in the last two minutes. Jackson, two Warriors want this game instead of the Bobcat game. And looking at this road trip, they made it difficult for themselves, but they somehow continue the second half barrage against Orlando. Jackson dropping in the free throw. Three-time champion San Jose Sabercats Monday at four o'clock. Mark Greeb. Sabercats take on the Grand Rapids Rampage. That'll be in high definition. Monday at four, right here on FSN Bay Area. So Jackson hitting a couple free throws. Stephen Jackson has 14 points in the third yeah. quarter. He's played inspired basketball. Corner three, and Bogans is fouled by Azabuki shooting a three. Aaron saying, oh, I was missed. We had the rebound. What are you doing? I well, believe he was, did, did a nice job. You want to chase, but then he came down, and they collided with their hands. You just want to run by him to distract you talked about Bogan's game, Jim, in Oakland, where, yes. where he was so efficient. Nine of 12. And tonight, only one of four, three points. Jameer Nelson, who had the incredible game in Oakland, where he was nine of 18 with 22. Bogan's and Nelson had 44 points between them. And tonight, they have only nine. And did you ever do the hat trick and the three to make two? The three to make two? Yeah, we used to have it. I have to, can I admit it? One time. Well, Bogans is 0 for 2 with his third free throw coming now. And he gets it. That's a little pressure. There is. For some strange reason, 80% shooter, I went zip for three on one trip. Shot clock off. I'm always honest. At four. At three, C.J. Watson looking for a seam, the high archer, and didn't get it off glass. So the Warriors, what a quarter. From down eight to up nine. Orlando's won six of seven. Warriors would love this one on the road.